Sports psychology is important because it's basically life psychology. Sports psychology to me is about being a confident human being and that's, that's the most important part of life. And if an athlete doesn't have confidence or they can't cope with mistakes or they can't you know, compete under pressure well and they're not focused, then they're never gonna be the best at what they do. So sports psychology is, in my opinion, life psychology and we all know the mental game is so important but athletes aren't really training the mental game. They'll go to a strength and conditioning coach, they'll go to a nutritionist, and you can't expect something to get better unless you train it. So I grew up in the South Florida area and I played a variety of sports at a very high level. I was a member of a volleyball state championship team and a basketball state championship team. I played club soccer, club volleyball, and, my, and I, I earned a scholarship to the University of North Florida. But I always felt like I could have performed at a higher level. I felt like I didn't know what confidence was or trust, and I knew that something was holding me back. So basically, when I, when I was about 21 years old, I had, a, I had a realization that changed my life forever. I was getting very frustrated with my performance. I knew I was good, but I just knew that, you know, what was it, what was stopping me? And I had this re realization that I'm not perfect. Like I was so afraid, like consciously I would tell myself, Julie, move on from the error, you're fine. But unconsciously, I was holding on to it. I think that I felt ashamed or embarrassed that I made a mistake. And I realized, you know what? I don't care how hard I trained, how much, how great my technique was, I was gonna make mistakes, I was gonna make errors. So I changed my perception of a mistake. And then from then on, I played a lot more relaxed and in the zone. And I knew that I had that missing link was that, that, that fear, you know, that I needed to be okay with failure. In college, I did not know what I wanted to do. And I thought about being a coach or a teacher and it just didn't resonate with me. And I wanted something more. I wanted something more meaningful and more powerful. And because I have a passion for athletics and sports and I have a passion for helping people, you know, I thought, wow, this would be a, an amazing combination. What are the difficulties or stresses that you face as a student athlete? Having football, it cuts so far back into your day. Like my school lets out at four, but I don't get home a lot of time till eight or nine because I have practice for a certain amount of time. If I have a bunch of tests that week, I can't think about it. I just have to know as soon as I get home, I have to study or do whatever I have to do. But I knew that in order to help athletes, that I needed to, in my opinion, be a, a regular psychologist to understand people because a athletes are people. They go through all the depression, anxiety. And so I really needed to understand how to help all people in order to just help athletes. So I think that's why I'm a clinical psychologist and that's why I think it's, it's pretty great that I'm able to work with the entire athlete, not just you know performance enhancement, but also dealing with like injuries, you know, dealing with the, the relationship between players and coaches and communication, uh, career transition, uh, career identity, and the whole gamut. So that's, that's the difference between just going to a sports psychology person or someone with a clinical degree. And I feel like that I can do all of that. And I feel like all my, my injuries that I had, my life experience all kind of fit with, with working with athletes.